Hello my YouTube friends, I know that I'm wearing the exact same outfit that I was wearing when I did the water pick water flosser and that's because I just finished filming it so by the time you're watching this, this is probably up there so if you haven't seen it, go see it. But I cannot help myself because as soon as I turned off the camera, I got a knock on the door. So give me a second. Ta-da! Okay, let's, let's, let's open it. Let's open it. And yes, I'm really sorry if the video is kind of dark. It's because the sun is going down, but I cannot wait until tomorrow because I will try to use this tomorrow morning since I have to go to a special place. Ah, okay. I'm obviously nowhere near as good as the pros that opened this up really quickly, but one time I did cut myself with scissors by mistake, so I don't wanna do that. Fancy, super fancy. Super fancy. Super fancy. I ordered. The best thing about this is that I actually haven't owned a blow dryer in a very long time. The last time that I owned a blow dryer, I had to be like in seventh and eighth grade because I know throughout high school. I didn't use a blow dryer at all. So yeah, so the last time I owned a blow dryer was middle school. And then after that, I just I just never used it. So I'm super excited about this. I ordered this off of Amazon simply because of the fact that as you guys saw, I dyed my hair blue. Let me just show you guys what it looks like right now. Again, it's in the back. And once again, you can't see the color because obviously I was, I'm not the smartest person and the wall is blue and my hair is blue and there's no sun while well, the sun's going down but even so it was a really cloudy day today so but anyways one of the worst habits that i have is simply the fact that i don't take a shower until very 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 late at night as in right before i go to bed and the problem with that is i'm the kind of person that i wash my hair every single day i know it's not it's not good for me but the thing about it is that my hair just gets so oily so quickly so if i don't shower well i'm not shower if i don't wash my hair tonight tomorrow it's going to be oily and sure i can live with oily hair if nobody's seeing me but if i go outside i have to wash my hair i got this really cheap it was like 23 bucks i didn't want to spend like 500 dollars on that fancy hair dryer that i'm gonna put up here somewhere because i looked at that i'm like i'm spending 500 dollars like i just couldn't justify doing that for my hair not yet not yet this one had amazing reviews, so I was like, you know what? Sure, why? Let me let me just go ahead and get it. Oh my god, I just I completely just ruined it. This is what happens when I'm trying to multitask and talk to you guys. So let me just play some music and keep going. Oops, I think I took it out the wrong way. Oh well. There's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna keep the box here because I, I need to reference everything it has. Let's begin with this one. I definitely looked at a lot of YouTube videos to see what this was. And it is basically a diffuser. So this is mostly for people that have curly hair. But there are tons of people with straight, straight hair that they were doing like these challenges to see if this turns their hair curly or wavy. I don't think I'm going to be one of those people because I know for a fact that there's absolutely no wave in my hair. It's as straight as it can be. So, it's pretty thick. It looks super cool. To me, this actually looks like a shower head. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, the pressure of the shower is so great. Very cool. It is plastic, but I don't know, it's cool. It also looks like the things that you put right here to like massage your head. It looks cool. Okay, let's see what's the next thing. Ew. These are the sectioning clips right here. So it's, you know, exactly what it is. You use these to section off your hair and you have three of them. Will I use it? I don't see a reason why I shouldn't use it. I like it. Doesn't really hurt. Should I keep that there meanwhile until fall? I'll keep it there. Nope, nope. I, I, it's gonna ruin my hair even though my hair is ruined, but very, very cool. Okay, and there's also, this is called the Smoothing Concentrator. Oh, I know these. They use these at salons a lot. 
Again, it's plastic, but it looks, it looks nice, you know, I don't have anything against it. Oh, so this is it right here. I feel like I'm in Disney World in the Toy Story Mania. That or Universal Studios um, Men in Black game. It's very light. This is not heavy at all. The one that I used to have, actually, funny enough, it was act it was also Revlon, but it was like this big, pretty heavy pink one. So I like this. I like the design. And it also has these right here. And the cool button. That's cool. And it has this right here. Ooh, something I already like about this is that it has just two of these. I know others had like the little trio. I, I don't remember the name of it, but it has those. So I like this. Something else I wanna point out about this is that this is supposed to be an infrared hair dryer, meaning that the technology is a little bit more advanced and it's supposed to be a lot better for your hair and to not make it as frizzy, which is something that I appreciate simply because of the fact since I did dye my hair, the last thing I wanna do is put heat on it and then just damage it more because as you guys know, no matter how good you are with your hair and how much treatments you put on there the second that you do dye it it does damage it just it is what it is but all right guys so tomorrow morning after i shower and wash my hair and all that good stuff then i will put it to the test i'm also going to time it so keep a look out for that so these are the options that we have right now we can choose between hot and warm and then we can choose if you want it really high or really low and we can also choose if you want it to be nice and cool all right guys, so honestly speaking, I don't like things being really hot just because of the fact that I know it damages the hair a lot more and also it's just really uncomfortable. But I'm just gonna try it on my hand to see just how hot it can get. So I have it on hot right now and I'll put it on low. Ooh, now it's getting really hot. Okay, yeah, that was really, really hot. That actually really hurt my hand. So now let's do warm and low. My hand's not burning yet. And warm and high. Ooh, okay, now it's hot. Now let me try the cool air. I'll leave it on warm and high. One thing I quickly noticed about the cool option right here is that it takes a while. It takes like about six, seven seconds for it to actually start to get cool. So you just have to hold the button for a bit. Did you guys see that when you turn it on, it basically has red lights here. I don't know if that's supposed to mean that that's the infrared starting to work. It's cute, but I don't know if it's really effective or necessary. All right guys, so this took me almost 20 minutes to fully dry my hair, and I would say it's 50-50. One is because of the fact that I do have a lot of thick hair, so no matter what, it just takes me a really long time to dry my hair. And two, I haven't used a blow dryer in such a long time, so <laughs> I was pretty slow with it. It took me a while to get used to like parting my hair and doing the back and doing the sides and doing the tips and doing the top. So I think that will, that kind of gave it a few minutes. My hair actually does feel pretty soft. I like the way that it feels. I can't really say much about whether or not it's frizzy just because of the fact that if you look over here, it looks like my hair is standing up, but that's because it's my baby hair and I've had it my whole life and I'm gonna continue to have it my whole life because no matter what I do with it, it just never really grows. With all of that being said, I would probably rate this um, like a seven out of 10 just because there's nothing really special about it. I feel like it's a very generic hair dryer. For people that care a lot about the colors and like the style of it, I think the only colors I saw was this one and a pink one, but I might be mistaken. So I'd probably put a picture of the other one right here. Ooh, and before I forget, something else. I feel that the handle, even though it's really small, at first I thought that was gonna be a good thing, but the only bad thing about it is that anytime that I was pressing the cool button, by mistake, I was pressing the other buttons as well. So it just kept flipping all over the place. All right, guys, so that is the end of my Revlon review. Keep in mind, this is my very first time using it, so this is completely first impressions. 
Thank you guys so much again for sticking around and watching another one of my videos. I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye everybody, stay safe.